Hey everyone, my name is Shrizzle and I'm from Stints Build. Today I want to go through some tweaks and settings that you can do for the latest wipe of Tarkov, which is patch 0.14 that just dropped today. And to get started, we want to go onto the search option on Windows. You can either click on the search bar at the bottom or press the Windows key and then start typing add or remove programs. We want to just go through some of the apps that you don't really use and just remove them. One notable one that I do not have because I have an AMD graphics card is going to be NVIDIA GeForce experience. Ideally, you want to remove that. Yes, it's convenient to update your drivers, but it has a lot of load to it. And it also takes a lot of resources. It's always searching for different stuff. It's always trying to find the best settings for your games, even though they're not the best settings and vice versa. It also has overlays. It's just a very, it's a nice convenient program but at the same time it does hinder your performance once you're done this another thing that you can do is right click at the bottom on your taskbar go to task manager and then in there find your startup apps and then just disable anything that you don't need in here such as for me it would be like AMD noise suppression i don't need that i would just disable it and just keep the important stuff running the regular things that you use day to day or that you need for your hardware, just keep those around. The next thing that you want to do is go onto the internet and go on the AMD website or the NVIDIA website, search up your graphics card. For me, it would be like the 7900 XTX. Click on submit, choose Windows 10 and 11 for this one, and then just download the latest driver. This typically can help with like performance or just assuring that there's stability. Same with NVIDIA, just search up NVIDIA down, uh, drivers, will bring you to this website, choose which version that you have, which, uh, which, which one you have here as well, and then click on search, and then just download. Once you have it downloaded, just install the non GeForce experience version, and just go from there. And then the last, uh, there's one or two other things that you want to do, one of them being game overlays and stuff like that. So for Discord, you would want to go into, you want to go down into game overlay and then just disable, enable and game overlay. And then Nvidia also has an overlay that you can remove if you still have GeForce. AMD also has one you want to remove. This one is pretty straightforward. You go to settings on the, on the right here and then go preferences and then in game overlay, just disable it. As for the drivers itself for AMD, it is pretty straightforward. I personally keep NT Lite on. I do use image sharpening right here. I should put it 100 and I just adjust the in game sharpness for me. And then vertical refresh, or wait for vertical refresh here, always off. If you do not have this always off, your FPS will be capped to your monitor for AMD users and then the rest is pretty much personal preference but like texture filter and quality i put it on performance and then the tessellation mode i put it on the override instead of application settings and i i turn it to off other than that i also have a little bit of colors this is just personal preference i just like having it pretty saturated and a little bit more brightness and contrast as for NVIDIA users, we do have a proper NVIDIA guide out there on a different video. We'll be sure to put a link right below for that. The other thing that you want to take a look at would be game mode. You just want to search it up and then game mode you want it on. And afterwards, you want to check for hacks or hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, which will be in graphics. Change default graphic settings, and then you want to have this either on or off. Turn it on, check how your PC feels with it on, turn it off, check if it feels better. Every computer is going to be different. The other one that's similar to hacks like that will be uh, full screen optimization. You want to find where your battle state game is installed, which mine will be in the default spot, and then you just want to Go to the executable right here, right click it, properties, compatibility, and then disable full screen optimizations. For some people, it will help 
against stutters or a little lag to the get. And for other people, it will give them less, less performance. So try it on, see if it helps, or try it disabled, see if it helps, and then turn it back off from being disabled, see if it, made, it feels better. It's going to be a personal system thing, all depending on the hardware, the software installed, and what version Windows and vice versa. You just got to play around with it. Now that we're done with all of the Windows tweaks that we can do, we want to launch the launcher for Battlestate. Once you have this open, typically we want to go on EFT if you want to tweak that one, but right now the servers are having a little issues, so I'm going to do it on Arena. It's basically the same thing. Before we do launch the game though, we want to go into our launcher settings right here. And then in here, when I launch the game, just make sure to exit the launcher completely. We don't want that running in the background. We want to try and minimize as many processes as possible. Once that's done, launch the game as normal, let it open up. And then while that's opening up, we can go and download Process Lasso, which will be on at Bitsum. You just search up Process Lasso will pop up. You download it for free. Once you have it downloaded and installed, you want to open up this. You want to click on active processes right here and then find your escape from Tarkov. Mine will say arena, but if you're launching the normal game, we'll say normal Tarkov pretty much. And then right click, you want to go to CPU affinity always and then disable hyper trading for Intel and then SMT for AMD. And that just typically helps with performance a little bit to make sure that it's only using the proper uh, the physical cores or the performance cores without having the hyper treading which the game can sometimes use and it lowers performance not every system is the same just try it out and if you see that your performance is worse or it doesn't help you then you can go back over here Go back into affinity always and then just click on none and it will remove it. But for me, I'm going to keep it on off or SMT off. And then the other thing that you want to do is just go into main and then find the pro balance and then uncheck the pro balance. Once all that's set up, uh, you just want to make sure to also do it for arena or the normal game. It just does it for one game. Both of them are completely separate entities. And then once all that's done, you can close it out of it and then you'll be on the game. First things first, you want to go into settings on game. This is mostly personal preference. I've still used physical cores only. It, it helps me a little bit, but for other systems, it might not just play with it. And then for graphics, I typically have textures high, shadows low. If you have less of a beefy GPU, you can put this to medium. The game will look a little bit less sharp texture wise, but your FPS will be a lot higher than object LD quality. I typically keep this at 2.5 to 3, depending on how I'm feeling or what map I'm playing. If I know I'm going to be sniping a whole bunch and I want to be able to see a lot further, I'll bring this up to 3. Then overall visibility, I typically I typically play with it between a thousand to fifteen hundred. It just helps render uh, details and quality for different objects at different distances. But for now, I'm just going to keep mine at two point five and fifteen hundred. And TA leasing, I typically keep it on TA high. And then, um, if you have a weaker GPU and you just want, or you're playing at like a way higher resolution than what the GPU can comfortably give out frames you can use uh, nvidia dlss put it on quality it will help out with frames and it will just make it a little bit better performance wise or you can also use amd fsr like 1.0 put it on ultra quality game still looks pretty good you just lose some sharpness and some quality at longer distances which is in the end of the world and then hbao it's either I put it either on high or ultra. And then if I'm trying to just squeeze out a little bit of performance while having it, I'll keep it on max performance. And then uh, SSR, which is uh, screen space reflections, I will, if I want to have it on, I'll keep it on low or medium. High and ultra, 
eats up a lot more FPS, but does add a lot more resolution to the reflections in the puddles. And then anisotropic filtering, I typically, I typically keep it either on on or per textures. It just helps a little bit to make the game look nicer, but also at a slight cost of FPS. Just play with it. And then NVIDIA low, uh, reflex low latency, I do not have it, but typically you want this on or on in boost. Just play with it, see which one works out best for you. And then for vSync, just make sure it's disabled if you're on NVIDIA graphics cards. But if you're on an AMD GPU like me, you want it on or else your FPS will not be lim uh, your FPS will not be unlimited like me. Like so. So right now I'm hitting 722 in the menu. If I ha if I didn't do the tweak in the AMD control panel plus have vSync on, if I uncheck this and save it, you'll see that like, my FPS gets locked down to 60 and then I'll have like 120 in the game. It doesn't go higher than that. Which even if I wanna put like, it will stop at 144. So I keep it vSync on for me. Uh, sharpness, personal preference. If you're using like, like Nvidia sharpening or even like AMD sharpening, just play with it. Find like a healthy medium, but at least at the very least, keep it at zero point one. Even if you don't want to use any, just keep it at the very least zero point one. It will cut out on some of that some of that haziness that you'll see. For me, zero point six works best. And then for post effects. I don't really use them. I just use them for the sharpening here. So I do clarity 100, luma sharpening, or sharpen at 30, and then adaptive sharpen at 40. Other than that, it's personal preference. Play with it, see what works best for you. And then for sounds, I keep it pretty much default. And then control, this is all personal preference as well. With that, I think I've covered everything. And then if you have any questions, don't don't hesitate to write in the comments below. Hope this helped you uh, get a little bit more FPS uh, with the new Tarkov wipe.